and now i am going to give the lecture about analytical method the word analytic is derived from the word analysis which means breaking up or resolving the things into its constituent elements the original meaning of the word analysis is to unknown or to separate things that are together in this method we break up the unknown problems into smaller parts and then see how these can be recombined to find the solutions so we start with what is to be found out and then think of further steps or possibilities they may connect the unknown built the known and find out the desired results it is believed that all the highest intellectual performance of the mind is analysis it leads to conclusion to hypothesis it leads to unknown to known it leads to abstract to concrete now i am enlighten some examples in analytical method hi now i am going to teach the example of analytical method that example one if a by b is equal to c by d prove that ac plus 3d square divided by bc is equal to c square plus 3d divided by b dc actually analytical methods is come from the word analytic it means breaking up analytical method reaches from conclusion to hypothesis in this example it is a conclusion point it is a conclusion point it is a hypothetical point hypothesis point hypothesis now first i take the conclusion point i use the conclusion point i can derive the hypothetical point is called as an analytical method therefore first i take if ac plus 3d square divided by bc is equal to c square plus 3d divided by bc is true i take as a true i take an if condition therefore i take as true here c and c are both sides of common therefore i divide the c and c therefore if ac plus 3d square divided by b is equal to c square plus 3b d divided by d is true now i cross multiply the terms i multiply the terms by d i multiply the terms by d therefore if d times of ac plus 3b square is equal to b times of c square plus 3b so what is 3b d therefore if is true then multiply the d in the inner bracket therefore if dac plus 3b square is equal to bc square plus 3b square d is true in the left hand side 3b square d and the right hand side 3b square d both are same therefore i cut the 3b square d on both side then finally if dac is equal to bc square is true now here i cancel the c here i cancel the square term therefore finally if da is equal to bc is true then i cross multiply the terms if a by b is equal to c by d is true from the above example first i take the conclusion part then finally i prove the hypothetical part therefore it is an analytical method example thank you oh yeah now i am going to teach the example 2 of analytical method if a square plus b square is equal to 7ab prove that Two log a plus b is equal to two log three plus log a plus log b. Actually, I prove that example by using analytical method. Analytical means analysis. It means breaking up. Actually, analytic method leads from conclusion to hypothesis. Actually, in this problem, this is a conclusion point. It is a conclusion point. 
It is a hypothesis part, hypothetical part, hypothesis part. In analytical method, first we take conclusion as a truth and then we finally prove that hypothetical part. Therefore, first I take this conclusion part. 2 log a plus b is equal to 2 log 3 plus log a plus log b is true. Here 2 log a plus b. We can write 2 log a plus b as log a plus b the whole square. Similarly 2 log 3 we write as log 3 the whole square. Now we can write log a plus log b as an log a plus b. So log a b. It's also true. It's also true. Now, Q log A plus B, the whole square as it is, I write it. Q log 3 whole square is equal to log 9 plus log A B. Now, I can write 9 log 9 plus log A B as a log 9 A B. Therefore, in left hand side, log a plus b the whole square. Therefore, log a plus b the whole square is called log 9 a b. Here, I cut both sides on log. Then we finally get a plus b the whole square is equal to 9 a b. Then the expansion of a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2 a b is equal to 9 a b. So it's also true. All the things are true. True. It's also true. Then here a plus b the whole square we take as it is a square plus b square is equal to 2ab. So I change the 2ab in that direction in that side. So put in negative sign. So from 9ab minus 2ab is equal to 7ab. Therefore a square plus b square is equal to 7ab is also true. Then a square plus b square is equal to some a b is an hypothesis, hypothetical part. Therefore, first I take the conclusion part. With the conclusion part, I can solve the hypothetical part. It's an example of analytical method. Thank you. Now I am highlighting few merits of analytic method. Merits. It develops the power of thinking and reasoning. It develops originality and creativity among the students. It helps in a clear understanding of the subjects because the students have to go through the whole process themselves. There is least homework. Students' participation is maximum. In this method, students' participation is encouraged. It is a psychological method. No craving is required in this method. Knowledge gained by this method is more solid and flexible. Now, I am point outing some of the disadvantages of analytical method. Demerits. It is a time consuming and lengthy method, so it is uneconomical. You need facts are not presented in a neat and systematic order. This method is not suitable for all the topics in mathematics. This does not find favor with all the students because below average students fail to follow this method. Every teacher cannot use this method successfully. This method is particularly suitable for teaching of arithmetic algebra and geometry as it analyzes the problem into subparts and various parts are reorganized and the already learned facts are used to connect the known with unknown. It puts more stress on reasoning and development of power of reasoning is one of the major aims of teaching of mathematics. Thank you.